So Radeon Settings was kind of announced last week and I've had my co I had a copy of it for a little while so uh, well here's my thoughts, opinions and all the cool and new stuff on the, uh, the Radeon Settings. <laughs> Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products and also up to date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So when Catalyst Control Center uh, was a thing, it took really long, or it took an, an absolute age to start up. Now Radeon Settings here, and one of the key things they promised was it wouldn't take that long to start up, and guess what it does, which is really nice. Now along the bottom you have things like updates, preferences, and uh, you know notifications, so if you want to update your drivers easily, you can do that through the update tab, change your preferences, or whatever, but also notifications for new drivers, new like AMD games, and, and just stuff like that, which is quite cool. Now along the top you have game settings, you can change the global setting for all games, so say you don't want anti-aliasing on any games, you can change that there. But you can also change, you know, uh, the sort of overclock of your graphics card through the software, which is actually really nice and very simple to do. You just change either a couple of sliders or move the graph around, uh, move a dot around a graph. So say you want a slight overclock, you can add a bit more power draw or power limit. Um, increase the power limit, but also uh, increase the clock speed a bit, which is really nice. You know, you can also go into specific games and change the settings for those too, which is also pretty cool. If you go into the video tab, you can change the color that uh, you know the, your, or the sort of uh, quality and different sort of bits of the image. Uh, if you're playing, you know, watching sports and stuff like that, or watching a movie or gaming. If you go to display, you can change things like uh, free sync as well as GPU scaling or crossfire, as well as a few other things and virtual super resolution. You can also go to affinity if you have an affinity set up and very easily set it up with some new features. And go to the systems tab if you want to see any information. So just to give you my thoughts on the the new settings. I really do like the look and the UI, uh, you know, redesign. That's kind of the key feature with this here, and I do really like how it's a lot more simple to find things. And you know, for example, even in the older Catalyst Control Center, and sometimes even in the Nvidia Control Panel, it was actually really hard to find certain things. Um, FreeSync and uh, you know, um, Affinity were a really key thing for me because I tried to set them up in, in the past, but sometimes they just wouldn't work um, straight out the box. And you know, like sometimes the tab wouldn't even be there, or the option would be there and you had to Google to find out where it's meant to be and, and how to get it back so the, everything being laid out very simply and cleanly here and all the options just being there is really nice and I do look forward to seeing more features being added also something that I didn't show in this video because I don't really have the capability to do it at this point in time is the affinity setup it is really cool as you're able to if it's effectively uh, guesses how you want your display to be set up and then you can you know do quick changes to say well, you know, actually, this one is meant to be over here and this one's meant to be over here, but it's very quick, very simple, and very easy to do. So, uh, it's actually a really nice improvement. Other than that, I'm not going to be running performance numbers here because I don't really have a good range of graphics cards or t uh, games to test with. So, um, if you want that information, I'm fairly certain there are already articles and uh, videos about that up already. So, um, yeah, I'm sure that's out there, but uh, I guess that's kind of it. I just really do like the over, you know, the, the overhaul with this, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what new features get added um, to this awesome looking driver. So. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to uh, let me know by hitting the like or dislike button and leaving your thoughts in the comments down below. Check out some of our videos over there as well. And if you want to buy an AMD or NVIDIA PC, check out Yoyo Tech in the, uh, the, the links down below if you're in the UK. They do some awesome systems, including the RV10, which is like 599 I think, for a really awesome um, 6600K and I think it's a 960 or maybe even a 970. So, yeah, it's a really awesome system and I definitely recommend you check it out. Other than that, uh, yeah, check out Facebook and Twitter for uh, all our, our updates and when videos come out and just kind of random stuff. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you all in the next video.